the Joshua Nkomo, what actually happened, I started it before I got commissioned. The night after Joshua Nkomo was pronounced dead, he came into my dream. It was like he was not feeling well and he was lying on the floor. And then he said to me, Lomfana, we are always on the Simuzi. So um, I went and picked him up and I walked him some few steps, maybe not five steps away from where he was. And he went on to pee. And they said, take me back where I was. I took him back. I made him to lie. He, he, he was lying, his head facing up. And so he was, I was facing him directly. And so after I did that, he said, I'll pray for you. And I could not figure out that how on earth I'm not a church person, church goer. But he said, I'll pray for you. So I woke up and I told my wife, and I said I was dreaming of Ngomo and this is what happened. And I think he wants me to do a statue. And I did not wait to be commissioned. I just started the work. And I said I was going to do a big, huge sculpture of him. I'll just use my own resources and, and, and build it. So I did. And then after that, I told Comrade Nema, who was then the Minister of Tourism, that I've got a statue of Joshua Nkomo of your, your father-in-law, because he was married to Tandi, Joshua Nkomo's uh, daughter. And then he said, ah, is that so? So he came and saw it, and then he told the late uh, Vice President Musika. So Musika came here and he saw it, and Musika then told the President, the former President, to say there is a big, huge statue done by Mutasa there. I think you, des you deserve to go and have a look at it. By then, they had already put a tender. Knowing that I had done that, some people think they were not in for that. I should be the person to be given the work, you know. And some will probably be saying, I'm Tasa Ngezwa Kegesh, Aita Chake Chuchu. We want to put it to tender. And then the tender was floated. I responded to it. The Koreans responded to it. We did some miniatures, about a meter. And they went to the Porit Bureau and Cabinet and they said, ah, no, let's give it to a Zimbabwean. Let's give it to Mutasa. This is good work. So I won the tender. And I was written by the tender board that I have won to do four statues of Joshua Nkomo. But, um, yeah, I was left out somehow. I don't know what actually happened. And um, the Koreans whom I had gone to tender with then produced the statue which was then put in Bulawayo, unfortunately. Here yeah, I am, I'm, I'm, I still have my, my statue, which I'm still quite uh, confident that, you know, the statue, Joshua Nkomo statue will go somewhere. Should I give it to the family? Or maybe I should probably publicize it and hear what the the government has to say the third one was to put it in first street and get comments from people what do people think about this statue of joshua Cobb, which i've just done out of a dream so when i created it it was not up actually after money but it was just that i want to to fulfill my dream which I had interpreted that maybe Nkomo is saying, can you profile me?